Hi guys, PJ here again, checking out another PC release. This time we have Surviving Mars. Now not strictly just a PC release, this is also available on Xbox One. And yes, it does have an Xbox One X upgrade. So uh, it does cater for pretty much everybody. This video though, I'm gonna center on just looking at what options are available for us PC users and see if it supports ultra wide. Now, this is a fresh boot of the game. I've never ever played it before. It's only just come out. So uh, just bear with me a bit on the controls. As you can see, it's not filling the screen right now. However, I believe it does support ultra wide. So let's have a quick look at all the options and uh, dig straight into this, what we got. So here's the options. I just noticed it's a mod manager there. So that's uh, quite promising. Must be a Steam Workshop for this, etc. So we have options display. We've got borderless, windowed, and exclusive full screen. Okay. Resolution there. So it is set to support my ultra wide display. Um, and you've got all the normal stuff there as well 1080p, 900p, 720p. Yeah, you've got two rows here, haven't we? There we go. Yeah, there's your 1080 look. Okay, that's good. Uh, refresh rate default hmm just default yeah just default now my monitor is overclocked to 75 Hertz uh, normally 60 of course so no variation apparent on that unless it just automatically supports what your monitor is running at so that could well be it UI scale there and brightness okay let's go back uh, what we got video preset is high there is an ultra so you guys with your uh, 1080 ti's look like you're well catered for we've got high medium and low what we got there shadows oh, oh, highest top setting for shadows okay we press escape to go back yes we can textures ah there we go there's an ultra texture pack by the look of things not sure how much difference that'll make. We'll have a quick look in game just to see if we can distinguish because some games you can and some games it's quite tricky to see the difference between high and ultra. Uh, what we got here? Four times I'm auto set to, so we've all up to 16. Terrain. Again, low, medium, high, ultra. Effects. Low, medium, and high. Lights. Low, medium, high. Bloom. On and off. Simple enough. Uh, what we got? Eye adaptation on and off, vignet on and off, anti aliasing options, uh, or just the two then FXAA and SMAA. So, not that many there, but I suppose it covers it, doesn't it? View distance, we're on high, there's low, medium, high, and ultra there, so obviously, you can scale to ramp it up a bit there. Running this on a GTX 1060 6 gigabyte. This is the ROG version, so it's uh, on full overclock. So we're not hitting the top preset. Could be processor. I'm on an old FX8350 at 4.2 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. The game is installed on an SSD, and I'm recording to another SSD, so we shouldn't really have any bottlenecks. Hopefully. So look, object detail, high and low. Just two options there. Aha, uh -huh. so we can do resolution scaling, can we? 85 and 70, so presets. Frame rate counter. Handy. I put that one on, shall we? Did I do that? Yes, I did. Where's it put it? It puts it at the top right. It's right by iron my camera. Fantastic. Can we not move it? Oh. No, we can't. Okay, I'll move the camera. There we go. Can we read it now? Can we see it? Let's have a look. Yeah, we got... Oh, there's a little bar going up and down as well. Okay, it's different. Okay, what else have we got then? We did have an auto detect there for those settings. I think I might run that actually and see, see if it stays as what it loaded into. Let's have a go. Auto detect. Hello. Yeah, it must have already done it because there's nothing happening so uh, okay what else have we got controls um, you got your invert mouse look invert rotation invert scroll light side window right click action and controller on and off so does it auto detect let's get a controller Xbox one controller here and let's see switching it on will it automatically Ooh. 
Yes, it does. You would expect that, really. I mean, the game is available on Xbox One, so definitely not. Get rid of that. This type of game is way superior when played with mouse keyboard, let's face it. Sorry, console guys, but it's true. Uh, camera movement speed. Yep, okay. And what else have we got? Gameplay. Auto saves on and off. Hints on and off. Language. What options have we got? There we go. Brazilian, Portuguese, English, French, German, Polish, Russian, and Spanish. What are your options today? What else have we got then? Uh, key bindings. Not too many, is there on that? Uh, numpad speeds things up. That's handy on this type of game. I remember when um, one of the games came out that I won't mention, but it had no speed up on it, and it was just like, no, you can't do that. A certain building game, city building game. We added it later, so all was good. But yeah, it's not ideal. You want to be able to speed up and get everything built. Well, I do. Okay, let's cancel that. Uh, what else we got? Credits. That's it. Okay, so what we got then? Let's load into a game, see how long it takes, yeah? So we've got mod editor, Parox account there, yeah. Quit, obviously, mod manager, new game, easy start. Easy start. New game. Let's load. See if it fills my screen. Hopefully it will. Pet peeve of having ultra wide monitors. Any game that doesn't support it is horrible. Oh, thank God for that. There we go. There's been a couple lately that have not supported ultra wide, and uh, most notorious being Dark Souls 3. So, yeah, I know you can get the stretch and wreck and fit, but it's a lot of fiddling. You should just be able to load the game and it supports it. That's what PC gaming is all about variation. Okay, so what have we got here then? We have. Okay, commander profile, Mars, random, yeah, very easy. It must know I suck at this type of game, which I do. I'm no good at SimCity. Next. Now what? Okay, there we go. Prefab buildings, okay, next. Select the landing point. Oh, look at that, big, big crater. Let's do that. Why can't the cutscene pictures be full width? I oh, know. Picky. Tell me about it. Hey, hi. I mean, the thing is, though, I mean, you get all these adverts nowadays, like the Predator Welcome monitors and the Mars. big Samsungs, are huge wraparound things. I think all games should fully support them now. You know, they've been out a long time. Still. Okay, so choose your. Alright, oh, okay, yeah, let's plonk that down. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing, I've not read the instructions. I know you build domes and aliens visit. We can zoom out nicely, very quick. Uh, frame rate. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have any problems with this type of game. It's not as if it's flash reactions, is it? What's this? What does this do? Oh, we got a buggy. Oh, we like buggies. You can go and explore. Oh, check that out. Okay. So there we go, the game runs fine, supports ultra wide fine, and looks quite nice actually. Some good detail on the landscapes there. Very nice. I will attempt to play it at some point, but if you're anything like me, you'll have a massive backlog and you'll get around to it one day, honest. Well there you go guys, that's all the settings and options this game has to offer. Maybe that was of some help to you to decide whether or not uh, you run it. It looks like it run on a toaster in all honesty. It's, it's not struggling in the slightest. The minimum specs are very low. You can see that on Steam for yourself. Thanks a lot for watching and bye for now.